My fellow Americans, you have been slapped in the face once again by your crooked politicians. They are giving Ukraine $13.6 billion what? while you suffer. I say just about anything. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And thank you for stopping by to see San Fade today. Even though I'm pissed off at my government. Don't get me wrong, people. I don't mind helping people. I don't. But we already ain't got no money, you know. The American people. They draining us. They draining the heck out of us. And the thing about it is, y'all, they don't even care. They done gave these people $13.6 billion. And then you got to ask yourself, where is the money coming from? They say we broke. They can't even pay their bills like some of y'all can't pay your bills. We owe other countries. But yet they giving out $13.6 billion to an, another country. Why can't they just do a fundraiser like they do everywhere else? You know, cancer research, St. Jude's Children Hospital. Why can't they do a GoFundMe? Let the people donate. You know, don't take my tax dollars and put it somewhere where I don't agree. Well, basically, that's what you're doing when you're paying into your taxes. You don't know what our government is doing. And I'm going to say this because I'm thinking maybe somebody is dumb. These politicians and people they hire, I'm pretty sure they got people on the board that's supposed to know economics. Don't you know that this is going to hurt the American people? Are y'all dumb? What kind of people do we have working in our best interest? No one. No one is working in our best interest, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry y'all had to rant like that. Because mm, this is pissing me off so bad. <sighs> make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do that for Sam Faye. And make sure you watch the whole video because it's important. Especially today. It's really important. Some of y'all. Some of y'all kind of dumb. I'm just going to put it out there. If you think that this is not going to hurt the working class people, then you dumb, you stupid, you're an idiot. Then whatever happens to you, I don't feel sorry for you. I don't. But it says right here from NPR, Congress passes $13.6 billion in Ukraine aid along with government funding. $13.6 billion that we don't have. $13.6 billion that could have been given to the American people. You got to ask yourself again. I know I like saying that. Why they won't help the American people? Why? Why? They rather help the immigrants? Anybody else but you. They don't want to help the seniors. They wanna, don't want to help you with food. They don't want to help with the gas prices. They don't want to help with the pipeline. They don't want to do nothing. They just want to take, 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 take from you. This is what our government that we have right now, the Biden administration, like I keep saying, they don't love you for all you people who so-called voted for them. They don't love you. They don't. They hurting your pockets. Go ahead. Clap for that. I want to see you clap for that. Let me tell you what's going to start happening, people. People can't afford the food. They can't afford the gas. They can't afford to get to work. People are going to start stealing. They're going to be breaking in your house. They're going to be robbing you at gunpoint, trying to take you to the ATM. They're going to do everything necessary because they cannot afford even just plain common necessities and commodities that they need. So what they gonna do? It's gonna be more crime. Y'all can't see that? Y'all can't see what's about to happen, y'all? People are gonna go into survival mode. That's what they do when they go into survival mode. Nothing matters. Any means necessary 
to survive, to provide for their family, any means necessary. Even good people are going to start becoming bad. I know some of y'all think I'm lying, but I'm not lying. Stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. Don't be fast forwarding through this video. Stay with me because this is very important. Y'all need to hear this, especially you trolls and far left people. It says here that the Senate voted Thursday night to approve a massive spending budget that included $1.5 trillion in funding to keep the federal government open alone with $13.6 billion in emergency aid for Ukraine, sending it to President Biden for his signature. And of course, you know he gonna sign it. That fool gonna sign it, yo. He gonna sign it. It says here the House approved the measures on Wednesday. Like a thief in the night, I heard. It said the government spending section of the bill avoided a looming government shutdown by funding operations through the end of the fiscal year on September the 30th. The broader package is the result of lengthy bipartisan negotiations that took on new urgency. New urgency, y'all. This is urgent. As Congress raced, they raced to respond after Russia invaded Ukraine. So it was in the making, y'all. It was in the making. They told y'all it was in the making. The overall spending package included a 5.6% increase in defense spending over certain levels along with 6.7 increase for non-defense spending. So they also increased the spending budget. Defense 5.6. Y'all know what that means. Some of y'all going to be going somewhere. That's what that means. No, y'all don't think so. But don't be crying. I'm telling you people who signed up for the military to fight for your country to honor your country. I don't care if you are what Trans, whatever, non-binary, you going. You going somewhere. They ain't finna let you stay here on. You going. Okay, especially you women who identify as men. What if they started a draft? Are you going to want to be a man then? You non-binary people, huh? Oh, they can't get me. I'm non-binary. Oh, yes, they can. Yes, they can. They can assume that you are. You are a man. Okay, you are a they. So it's two of you. It's two. My Americans. It's going to be hard for you to survive. You better start stocking up on beans and rice, something that'll last you for a long time, canned goods. Because I'm telling you, inflation is going to keep going up. It's not going to stay steady. It's going up more and more. Think about it now. Think about what they're doing, spending all this money that we ain't got. Think about it. Inflation sticker price shock. Inflation soars in February up 7.9% from last year. Look at gasoline, 38% more. Used cars, 41.2% more. Food at home, 8.6%. That's a lot. The food is almost 50% high. I don't know why they're lying right there. It costs way more than that. Shelter, homes, buying a house, way up. Prices double. Double. I'm telling you, y'all, it's even hard in apartments. They going up too. You got to ask yourself why. I guess because what? Maybe they taxes going up. I don't know. But it's going to be hard for anybody to live. Anybody. That's why I said you better keep your doors locked. You better keep your guns locked and loaded. I'm telling you because you're going to be having some invaders trying to come in your house. Now this right here, y'all. It's very important. You got to pay close attention to this. Because y'all going to be pissed off about this. Because I was when I saw it. It says here from the Hill. House passes resolution back in Ukraine. Three Republicans voted no. Only three. Democrats 220. Republicans 205. Independence, none. So the total was 425. And three said nay. Nay means no. Yay means yes. Only three. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of putting these sap suckers in the office too, y'all. So don't feel bad, okay? Why? Why y'all supposed to be for the Patriots? Republicans? Are all of y'all rhinos? You mean to tell me we got more rhinos in Congress 
than we do real Republicans, conservatives. You ain't for the people no more. You for the other side. You getting in bed with the Democrats. Is that what that is? We getting sick of this. We can't take this no more. Y'all remember. Remember to vote these people out in November. Look it up. There's some kind of way to find their names and find out who voted for what. Well, you're going to be able to tell because there's only three. Only three. Only three people are on the conservative Republican side. Mm, mm, mm. You got to ask yourself, what type of people we got running this country, y'all? We are doomed. If we got to endure two and a half more years, however long Biden got of this, if nothing don't happen soon, to get this man out of here and some of these other Democrats, if something don't happen, we are doomed, 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 doomed. This is no lie. Look at this right here. Pay close attention again. Lawmakers in both parties voted near unanimously. Near, not near, they did, most of them. In favor of the resolution, 426-3. The only votes in opposition were from three Republicans. Representative Paul Gozart, I guess I said his name right, Thomas Macy, and Matt Rosendale. Representative Adam Kinzinger said it was unreal. He think it's unreal that three fellow Republicans voted against the resolution. Unreal. You mean to tell us you don't want to help Ukraine? You don't want to help the poor people to build back their city? You don't want to help them to fight? You don't want to give them no money? Are you stingy? You don't like to donate to a cause, a good cause? Because that's what they think it is, a good cause. Don't get me wrong now. I feel bad for the Ukrainian people. I do, especially, you know, the women, the children, even the men. I feel bad for them. But you know what? America should be first, y'all. First. First. Always. They pissed off Paul Gozar. He went to his Twitter and he said, Talk to me when our border is secure. Talk to me then. When you have secured that border and make sure that our American people are safe, and that they come first, then you can talk to me. But until then, don't ask me for no money. Don't ask me to approve nothing like that. Also, Massey, he said he opposed the resolution because he thought it was overly broad in its stated support for providing defense assistance to Ukraine. Among other things, he said, he also argued that the call for isolating Russia economically could ultimately backfire. That's what I always said. Could backfire if innocent people in Russia suffer, suffer under harsh sanctions and develop resentment against America. Of course, they're going to resent us, America. They're going to resent us. I know it. But you know what, though? It's whose fault, though? If these people retaliate against us, if Putin retaliates against the American people, you know, they got things, too, that they can do to us. Put it on down there in the comment section what they can do to us. Put it on down there because I know some of y'all know I'm pretty sure we got some Russian people over here living in the United States. But I'm telling y'all, you better watch what you wish for, okay? Because some of these people that you have elected do not, they do not have a heart. They don't. They don't. With everything that's going on in this world and in America, don't be surprised, y'all. Especially with the gas prices. Don't be surprised if they start mandating gas. Putting limits on it. Putting limits on food. Now we already know they put limits on commodities. 
commodities. You know, like when you go to Sam's or to the grocery store, toilet paper, stuff like that. Ma'am, you can only get one. You can only get one. You can't get two. Even though you got 10 people in your house, you can only get one toilet paper. Just one. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? Well, we're going back to that. We're going back to that. We're going back to that even with the gas prices and other things too. Not just going to be gas. It's coming. It's coming to a city or a state near you in a country also. All right, go down in that comment section and tell me what y'all think about this whole thing. I know you're not happy because I'm not happy about that money thing and what they're doing. You know, they're not providing for the people here in America. They're not. Everything is going up, up, up. Like I said, pretty soon, heck, everybody might have to be on food stamps. They may have to give out more stimulus checks, but they're not going to do it, y'all. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They're going to send that money over there somewhere else. And we know what's going on. The reason why they send the money over there to Ukraine. We know why they doing it. Put it on down in the comment section because I know y'all know too. And on that note, y'all. On that note, make sure you come back to Sanfei Unscripted.